Hello everyone, this is uh, Steve. Uh, I want to uh, oh, thank you for joining my YouTube channel today, for this evening. And I'm going to leave off the, on the previous video on sprites, where we left off on sprite movement. This time, what I want to show you is um, how fast uh, sprites can actually move when you're not returning out of a loop. Like before, when we incremented out, we were always jumping out of a loop here. We're basically RTS and out. This time, though, we're going to be jumping back to the start here. So I'm going to change both of these just to show you this is how the program set up. It jumps back to the start label here, which you see up here. So basically, it continues with the joystick each time. So what you got here is the right and the left movement. I also added a fire button routine in here and I added the joystick movement in down here so we could track it better. It might have been on the first video, but I just thought I would mention it. Okay, so these are the new lines here after we are done with all this. Down here, we see set D, DN, this is set down. Basically what this is doing is it's checking the down movement right here is working, excuse me. When you press the joystick down, rather than just say a decrement 254, we're going to check it as you're moving the sprite down. So as soon as you hit line 128, that means that we're going to set that down position and lock it into 128. So let me show you in an example here. And that's what this BCS does. It means don't go beyond this. It says branch carry set. So we're not, if it's saying if it's greater than 128, it's going to go to set down. And that's what this does. It traps the down movement of the sprite, which I'll demonstrate here in a little bit here. First, I wanted to show you the little demo I have here. So branch carry, BCS is branch carry set. And what it means is greater than, easiest way is to say greater than or the greater than symbol. So look at this example. The 254, let's say 254 starts you off and X is maybe equal to 50 or something like that. 50, what does it say? For namesake. So as you're moving down, we'll say the sprite somewhere on the screen, he's at the memory position 50. So basically that's saying, in other words saying this, it's saying take poke 53, 249. And I should make this a Y, not a, let's say a Y, because a Y is more appropriate. Y means a up and down. So let's say it's equal to 50. So this would be mean he's at the 50th location. And remember this is the vertical. For those who want to know. And so what this is basically doing, I'm going to erase this for a second, is saying is if your sprite here is at location 128 or this um, 254, which is your Y, is at position 128, which means you're moving down the screen here. As soon as you reach position 128, and imagine the lines being numbered somewhere up on the screen from 0 down to 255 or however far down the screen goes, this position is going to stop him about halfway midway down the screen, about 128. And if he's down, if he's stopped there, then we're going to basically um, lock in his position like this by saying um, load a of 128 and store it back into 254, which is what my uh, program's doing over here, right here. If you look right here in the example, you'll see it. So if set down is equal to 128, then we're going to lock in his position at 128. So we keep him at position 254. He doesn't go anywhere else. And that's going to be the jump to start thing again. So let me fix this line here. And this is going to be different over here. This is going to be um, 76, I think it's 73, 192. Same thing for this one. Or excuse me, 76 is a uh, jump. 73, 192. So this jump means just jump back to the loop. Jump is the same thing as a go to. This is jumping around in the program, basically. And start was up here. It's off the screen now, but it's up at the, where the joystick position is. So we're going to jump back to the joystick. Now for the down movement, we're doing something very similar, except we're checking the down movement, which begins right here. Or, I'm sorry, the up movement. I already explained the down movement. The up movement, as we're moving the joystick up, we're checking to see if he's at position 57. And if he's less than that, then we're going to go down to this line that says setup. And we're going to do the same thing like we locked in 128, so we're going to lock in 57. And let me show you in uh, the word example again. You want to see that? Okay, so it's basically, if you look at the, the controller here, so if it's saying down, if you're moving the joystick down, as soon as he gets so far down in the screen, let's say this is position 128, it's going to lock in at that position. That's what this 128 is doing. And the one, the, um, 
The other one's going to do the opposite. So instead of he's going up somewhere on the screen, he hits position 57. It's going to lock him in there so he can't go up beyond the screen. And that's what the second part is doing right here. Where you see where it says up, movement, check 57. Let me just um, show you right here. So branch carry clear, or BCC means branch carry clear. It's another word saying less than. Let me just write that over here. Um, less than. So it's the saying if it's less than a position, in other words, if 5 is less than 10, then this is going to set this and it's going to allow this branch to work. Otherwise, it's going to ignore the branch and it's going to go down to the line below the branch. The same thing with this, it'll ignore the branch once it's not set. And I'll go down to the next position, which means decrement 254, which means keep moving him up the screen until he hits position 57. Keep moving him down the screen until he hits position 128. And I'll show that when I run the example. Let me um, show you more of the code here on the screen. Okay, so now you can see all the code here. Ignore this code here. This will be explained in another video. I just wanted to show you that's what this is doing. So 253... If you remember from my previous video here, I'll put it down here though, we'll put it in another color. Um, maybe purple or something. So 253 is representing his X or his um, left, maybe left, right movement. <coughs> and 254 is his Y or his um, up, down movement. And the way to look at it this, when you see anything each time you see a, a number beside this, it's just meaning to check that number only. Check that number. And if you see this number with a low decumulative number, it means this number right here can go from 0 to 255. So let me explain that here. So anytime you see something like an LDA number, this can go from 0 to 255. So you put any position in there and you just store it wherever you're going to store it in memory. And remember 254 is just a way of saying a variable. It could be called y1 equals whatever position that is. In this case, we just stored 128 right here. So this would make basically say store 254 equal to 128 or also look at it as quote 254 comma 128. It's just basically a way of storing data from 0 to 255 here in memory locations in memory. And these uh, 254, 253, these are in page 0 and they're safe to use. They don't interfere with basic at all. So I wanted to show you that in the example here. If you want to see the listing, I'll show it to you again. This is going to be a two-part series. I had another video I created earlier I was going to upload here, but it, it cut the audio off and it didn't save anyway, so I wasn't going to use that one. I was going to use this one as an example for now. So remember, again, 253 right here represents the Y. I'm, I'm sorry, not the Y, this is the X. And this down here is the Y. Never type those things out. I think it's the second one number. Okay, so it's happening right there. So the X and the Y. And remember I just showed you earlier? This keeps track of variable X. So th in other words, if this was something like X, then it's going to check, or excuse me, Y. It's going to check to see if your Y is equal to 128. If it's greater than 128, so in other words, it's saying, this line is saying y is greater than 128. I don't have room to write it on here without going to the next line. Greater than 128 right there. Then if it is, it's going to go down to the set the end right here. 